day, my friends. Today we are going outside of Las Vegas. We've been making uh, our last couple of videos in Las Vegas, but I got a frantic text message from Scott Michaels saying, the world's largest Zoltar is on display for two days only. You gotta go see it. It's in Boulder City where we went and took the tour. So we are going out to visit our buddies, the Hansons out at uh, Characters Unlimited. We're gonna see the world's largest Zoltar. Plus they have a new merch store and Last time they're really cool about letting us see everything, so I think hopefully they'll let us do that again. Days of Jordan the Lion begins now. If you come out to Las Vegas and you don't hit Boulder City at least like once in your life, you're really missing out. And I'm not just talking about for like the Hoover Dam and all that stuff. Boulder City itself is really cool. It's a very it's got its own character, really cool antique stores, just off the wall stuff, cool art, lots of fun. And we have arrived. See cool art. Well, here we are. You can see Zoltar on the back of the van. You can see the waving Pappy up top. Characters Unlimited. Oh yeah, this place is great. You guys are gonna love it if you haven't already been here with me, seen that vlog. I think you'll love this one. Look, he's welcoming us. The cool thing about these guys, they will make a Zoltar of anyone you want, any public figure, yourself, anything. Zoltar, what is in my fortune today? You're going to meet your longtime friend, Vern. You're gonna see him. You haven't seen him in a long time. Hey! I'll be danged, Vern, you made oh, it. Oh, it's amazing. Little background on Vern, how we met. When I started my channel in 2016, um, I had been doing it for a couple of months, probably three or four months, and I went ahead and put up a Patreon. My grandpa wanted to help support my channel, so that's why I did it. And Vern was the very first person to ever join that I didn't know. So he was actually the second person after Papa, and he's never stopped being a Patreon. He's been a friend ever since, and we've hung out whenever we can ever since, so. And you coined the name Lionhearts Hearts, for yes. everyone. Kind of sort of Chris Jericho, but yeah. It's yeah, yeah, kind people, of with the theme. people were kind of like looking for a name in the fan group for to call each, you know, and you, you brought that one up yeah, and they like, kind of went for it. Yeah. Funny thing, I was hanging out with Brent Fitz last night. He's uh, He drums for Gene Simmons, mm -hmm. Slash, all these people. And uh, he was telling me he grew up with Chris Jericho yeah. and actually they, they entered, they were talking about being wrestlers together and everything. He goes, Chris, and actually followed it. <laughs> and now Brent's a famous drummer. So this is what I love about this place. When we were here before, they told us they used to drive across country and offer like these to people as attractions. And it kind of turned into, look at this, the world's largest soul tar. <laughs> My first question to, uh, to them was, uh, well, what are they like poster size cards that you get out of here? Wow, look at Zoltar. Oh, I can't wait to see. Yeah, please. I couldn't believe I was in town. You got, you guys are only like displaying it for like two days, right? Zoltar is here to give you the wisdom of the ancients. Do with it what you will. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend, and surrender a bit more wealth for more instruction from Zoltar. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so can I ask where is Zoltar's permanent this Zoltar's home gonna be? Over there. Oh, yeah. you. maybe he can Come tell us. Over and let Zoltar be sharing with you your fortune. This was ordered by the Showboat uh, Casino in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Okay. And they're building a water park called the uh, the Island Island Water Park behind the casino. Oh, they, cool. They, they wanted to have the world's largest Zoltar in front of their fun center. They're That's so there. awesome. Yeah, it, it opens up June 30th. Unfortunately, this won't be here for the for the soft opening, but it's going to be there probably in a week or so. How does one decide on what the largest Zoltar will be? Like, you could have went with any size. How do you decide well, on that? They didn't have to go, this is 10 feet 2 inches. They didn't have to go quite that large. The last biggest one we made was for Guinness uh, 
uh, Book of Records in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. They have an attraction where, you know, and they had it out front, and that was only eight, eight foot tall. Okay. So this is 10, 10 foot, two inches. So, so there's no, um, like say when Gatlinburg ordered it, they, they don't um, have a contract with you that says, hey, you can't do one bigger because we want to have that claim for a couple not, years or anything? Not at all. Okay, so somebody could even make a bigger one than this. Order one tomorrow if they wanted to. Yeah. That's crazy. So th this comes apart in two pieces. We, it takes four of us to lift the top off and, and put it down, and we've got two big crates out front that we're going to be shipping in in two separate pieces. Is this one, I remember last time I was here, you were kind of explaining to me that it's relatively kind of an easy operation in here to fix or things like that or diagnose. Is it the same with this one as well? Oh, exactly. it's, it's basically the same as this small, small one. It, if you're taking the dispenser and your control board and your bill acceptor, they have a, what's called a, a NIAX, if it's a card swipe for the, for the, um, for the front center. That is uh, so cool. We, we, had, we had hope to get a larger ticket dispenser, but you need to be reliable. There's not one that's as proven. That was, that was right, and then you also have to custom make all new cards and everything. So we decided just to go with, uh, with that regular one. But it's a, when you see somebody playing it and looking up at it, it's uh, yeah. pretty, pretty imposing. That is, that's so cool. And you can't miss it, it, it being that big. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. I'm so glad we got to come by and see that. I love, I mean, I just did Route 66. I Zoltar, oh. the great gypsy, and I can see your fortune. Come see it too, no? We just did Route 66, so we've been seeing oh. all the world's largest everything. We've been seeing all your Zoltars all oh, over the place. Cool. So yeah, so I uh, just got into town and got a frantic message from my friend who I came here with last time. He goes, you're in Vegas, right? You gotta go see this. It's only two days. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Thanks for making this available. I noticed you guys made it, um, you posted it and let public come in and check it out. That's really cool. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna box them up on Friday and uh, my son Gunner, he's gonna fly in and, and help them set it up and be there for when they just get it. That's up. so awesome. Yeah, I'm so happy to see that. I love- surprised about how, how it turned out too. <laughs> just like everybody's <laughs> all over it. So. All right, every time we uh, start a conversation, Zoltar starts yelling at us. So we, uh, one of the other things that we came here for is they have a new merch store and I want to check that out. But look at all the cool stuff. If you're wondering why there's like moose heads and deer heads, they're animatronic. They all talk, they sing. You can put them in bars and they harass your customers. All of this stuff, they can do it with the birds. You can do it with all of these animals that are up here. I love that. Last time they uh, hooked up a microphone and we're talking through them and showed us how you could do it. Come let Zoltar tell you more. And they showed us this last time that they, uh, they hand make, hand carve all the faces, do the molds and everything. But they can do any public figure that you, you would want. You can get Zoltar, you can get aliens, you can get uh, Donald Trump. Last time we were here, I, I think I just saw him over here somewhere. Oh. Right there. Yeah, you get Willie Nelson. Pretty much make any figure you would want. I mean, they even told Scott and I, hey, we could make one of you guys. <laughs> See, that one's a Yakov Smirnoff one, I think. And then here's a catalog of all the characters you can order. And by the way, they're constantly making these. They hand pack them and everything when they send them out, so. You're seeing a little behind the scenes, and this is what the faces even start out as. And this one, that's the, uh, the one that they used for big. So if people order that one, you actually can get that one. Zoltar socks. Okay. So this was one of the games that Scott and I were playing along Route 66 when we were here last time. They were showing us that they had um, partnered up with Jones Soda and that you could scan the Jones bottles and there was a Zoltar on there that would talk to you. So we didn't end up finding any, but they said they have a handful of them here. So there's the bottle and then you just put your phone up to the QR code. Let's see if we can do it. Zoltar never holds back from opportunity. You? You should be more like Zoltar. Accept the next proposition you hear. Within reason, my dear. Until then, I propose you enjoy your Jones soda. Let's go see the merch.
Zoltar our stocking. <laughs> Talking keychain. I have one of those in Mr. T. I bet that one's great. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Mm -hmm. They didn't have this one last time. Mm -hmm. Free Zoltar and he's on a unicycle. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh yeah. Words of it's wisdom. better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. <laughs> So we have that in a few different colors. 36 mm -hmm. years you guys have been doing this. That's so, so cool. Black, we also have it in gray. But this is how my parents started the business, like selling out of a van with a, a bunch of static characters loaded up in there all across the Southwest. So that's so we awesome. kind of thought it was a cool little way to Absolutely, what a cool throwback. Yeah. Oh yeah, tons um, of Zoltar hats. Dad hats. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you yeah. sell the Zoltar costumes too. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is new this year. Um, it's for Halloween of this year and it comes with all these different like PVC pipes you put together to make like the box. No way. Cool. How much do those go for? I think they're a hundred dollars on fun.com. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. totally fair for a good Halloween mm -hmm. costume. That is so cool. And it has a turban too and the facial hair and the costume. Ah, uh, you yeah. might have a sale. <laughs> you might have a sale today. Brandon downstairs, who I think you met, he's going to be wearing the costume of the 4th of July parade here in Boulder. City. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is killer. <laughs> that is killer. This is the last room. I went ahead and bought a uh, one of those Save Zoltar shirts and they gave me a bottle of the Jones soda. We're coming down checking out. These are all figures that you can get that talk, including the talking tree. You can get a pappy. I love those, the talking trees. But then look at this over here. It's like a freaking octopus arm. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. And then just tons and tons of Zoltars. Yes. Very cool. So the octopus arms actually belong to an yes. octopus head that goes in there. <laughs> so she's getting, she's getting redone. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we're going to be redoing, she needs some new lashes. Um, we need to redo some of her arms, but so she'll talk, the arms start moving and she'll oh, give you your nice. fortune. Oh, nice. And they do custom cards for their displays or wherever they're at. Oh, nice. So you always have that option, too. So if you ever, like, bought one of these and say it was in a bar or something, you can have your bar logo on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And, like, say, hey, every fifth drink is free or 10% off. Oh, the bar yeah, of yeah, that's a great idea. So you can do that on all of this as well. Mining out in Henderson. Okay. So um, they were bought to us so we could do a refurb on them, uh, fix them up a little bit, get some new paint, and make them look How old were they, what would you expect oh, before that? Because they um, look like brand new to me, oh, they, yeah, especially the faces. Them, yeah, we're done with them now. They were, I'd say, probably a good 10 plus years. Wow. Yeah. So, so that I, that's an option. You can actually refurbish yeah. if it, weather damage yes. or something. I, I imagine in Nevada, that's probably kind of a common thing. It's a little bit of wear. A little dry, too. yeah. And then this yeah. gentleman here, actually is a lady's personal miner and she lives out in vegas and she has him on an old railroad cart like a mining oh cart. cool yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately somebody damaged him so she brought all the pieces here we made he his, looks good yes yeah, so we made his hands poseable now so he'll actually be able to clutch onto oh neat the cart, and he's bending over a little bit um, she had purchased it back in the 90s. Wow. And still had it. So we did a new head and hair and outfit on him and then did the poseable hands. Yeah. And then she'll take that back out to Vegas because she, um, she decorates the cart and him every yeah. holiday. So he's decked out in, for New Year's and Valentine's Day and Fourth of July. She does all the little That's stuff awesome. Right that yeah. is so cool that you guys can do that. Yeah. So you said that they returned that one because it was... Uh, so from... it, it just doesn't quite work anymore. Well, you said it's a tape deck. Yes. It, that's so cool because, yes. yeah, like you can actually change an old... You said from 1992 that yeah. head was. Yeah, and he's been, you know, he's been fixed here and there. And so he just kind of needs to be a little bit more revamped. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, nowadays we have a lot more uh, electronics that we use to kind of help it out yeah more up to date i was looking up at this and she said that that's a talking pumpkin for like pumpkin patches and things like that same like we saw that apple earlier that's that's for like apple orchards what a crazy awesome place <laughs> i think we're gonna call it a day everyone thank you all for watching and uh 
thank you for letting us see the world's largest Zoltar here at Characters Unlimited. Everyone, have a great night, and goodbye.